What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Tyrone and I want to welcome you back to a brand new video and today we got a really exciting one being a look at the newest Pokemon set released from Sword and Shield being Evolving Skies. This has been a set that released this month. It's been one we've been waiting for after seeing all the cards from the set released in Japan with some awesome artwork, some awesome Pokemon that are featured and I just really can't wait to get into it. And so I have a full booster box in front of me. We're going to be going through all 36 packs here in this video. And I can't wait to get into it with y'all. I think without further ado, let's rip some packs. Welcome back, and it's time to finally get into this booster box opening for Evolving Skies. And so I'm really excited for this. This is going to be my first booster box opening for the channel and I think there's going to be no other bet, no other better set to start with than this one being Evolving Skies. It's a pretty big set being 203 total cards for the base set and then you're going to have 34 secret rares to find. There are just so many awesome Pokemon in the set. Our flagship Rayquaza being probably my main chase for all of it. We have Duraludon on the top, Sylveon on the side. Umbreon on the other side, look on the back, dynamic power on the horizon, dragon Pokemon are back in this set, we're going to have Dragonite, Noivern, some others, and of course all the evolutions. and so this is going to be probably one of the best modern core sets that we've gotten in a while, it'll probably be one of the best ones moving forward in my opinion, and I think it's finally time to get into it, and so without further ado, start opening up some packs. And now the seal has been broken. Get this plastic off. I uh, haven't opened the booster box in a while. I've had a Chilling Rains one sitting around. I will probably open it at a later date. But this one I think takes priority. So it's folded back. We're going to set it to the side. And look at the artwork, these packs. Great color scheme. I'm just ready to get into it and so this one's gonna take a minute to open them all and so I think we should just get into it. So I'm gonna give you all the code cards like in every video for this set because it's Sword and Shield we're gonna do four to the back and let's get to it. We got Crystal Cave, Toy Catcher, Raihan, Pikachu, Seedot, a Lillipup, Dagon, Lotad, Crystal Cave and a Pinsir Rare. And so we're going to split up our cards like we normally do, being commons, uncommons on the side, all of our reverse hollows and just regular rares in the middle, and then hollows, reverse rares, ultra rares, secret rares, all there on that left side. And like I said, Rayquaza is going to be my chase card for the set, like this pack art. You can see I got two of my favorite Rayquaza cards there in the back, being this newest one, the Rayquaza EX from Delta, from the Delta species. I think that's a Dragon Frontiers card. And then we're going to have the Hidden Fates Rayquaza GX promo that was released. And so let's keep her going, see if we can get one of those Rayquaza VMAX or just regular V alternate arts such gorgeous cards. I'm really excited to see what we can find from this set. But we got a Litleu, Eevee, Cutifly, Hitmonchan, Lotad, Thievul, that's going to be a reverse rare, followed by an Ampharos. And so I'm going to go ahead and sleeve up all my hollows, reverse rares. Just good to have those protected in my opinion. But if you have already had the chance to start opening up some Evolving Skies, feel free to let me know how you've been doing in the comments. Let me know your opinions on this set. Have you had a chance to pull some really awesome cards? What is going to be your chase cards for these set? You know, I want to know. I want to talk to y'all. You know, so feel free to mention that down below. And of course, I will reply to any comments I get. There's another Reverse Rare followed by another Ampharos regular, com regular Rare. Add that to the pile. And let's see if we can get our first hit pack. Not starting off anything too crazy. 
but that's why you get a booster box because they're gonna come the hits will always come in these so many packs you really can't go wrong but we got treasure energy rog and rolla pop it hitmonchan fletchling tentacle a wishy-washy that's gonna be another reverse rare followed by a talon flame a lot of reverse rares to start. Will not complain, especially if you choose to go for like a master set of this set, set master set of this. You always want to get all those reverse cards as well. And there's gonna be our first white code card for the opening. Or to the front. We've got a lightning energy, elemental badge, earlier, spirit mask, drowsy, scraggy. Phoebus, Amon Chan, Slykoth, and Avalog. And that is a uncommon. And a Golurk V for our first rare, ultra rare pool. See the, all the ruins in the background. Golurk's an awesome Pokemon. Looks like that was the Golurk. If any of y'all did the Sword and Shield DLCs. Looks like it was the one from actually I can't remember the name of it now shoot that's okay we've got a fighting energy Vigoroth Lombre rapid strikes full of the flying dragon that's a mouthful Chinchow Petalil Deanna Teriursa Phoebus for baby followed by a Drampa Oop. wrong spot for that Sylveon. Let's see if we can get some magic in this pack. Four. We're gonna start off with a fire energy. Nuzleaf. Eskew. Skiploom. Slackoth. Carvana. Babebe. Dwebble. Marip. A crystal cave followed by a shiftry. So many packs to go through. So much fun. Four. Let's see what we can get here. Psychic Energy, Ice Cube, Full Face Guard, Hypno, Emolga, Black Off, Gossip Floor, Love Disc, Fletchling. We have a Stoutland Reverse Rare. And we're going to add it with a nice Dialga Hollow. That's going to be two pulls in this pack. Nice Statland. Oh, just the wind, icy wind behind him. Followed by a Dialga Single Strike Hollow. Excited to have Dialga and Palkia coming back for the new Pokemon games releasing later this year, being Shining Pearl, as well as uh, Brilliant Diamond. I don't know if any of y'all had the chance to play Diamond, Pearl, or Platinum when y'all were growing up, when they were first released on the DS. Those were some of my earliest Pokemon games. And just such good memories from those games. I'm more, I'm definitely gonna be getting Brilliant, Dining, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl when they come out. Can't wait to get to go back to that. But now with Switch, get a little bit more, <laughs> get a little bit more horsepower from these new gaming systems and hopefully it will just do nothing but enhance the pokemon experience all the way and so i'm really excited for it but we're gonna have a water energy digging gloves stormy mountains shell gun got an applin nicket sableye bergmite carvana we have a shell gun and a arctivish v is gonna be our ultra rare pool from that pack. Another V card to add. Nice Arctivish. Such an interesting Pokemon. So many, it feels like we have so many different whale Pokemon, but that one's just even more fun. The fact it's an ice type as well in the games. Two, three, four, but either way, excited to get back into Sinnoh. I mean, it's just going to be a good game, no, no matter how, how you look at it. It's going to be a lot of fun. And then we're not only going to have that one, those two to sustain us until the next title. We're going to be following it up with Arceus. 
in January, which is going to be hopefully just a whole new way to look at the Pokemon genre, especially on the gaming end. It should be crazy. So many people like myself were excited for it, and we're all hoping it can live up to the expectations that have been set for it, which are pretty high early, gotta admit. But going back to the packs, we got a Teddy Ursa, Hitmonchan, Fletchling, Tentacool, Seedot, followed by a Smeargle. So nothing too crazy. We're about a quarter way through. Reach from start reaching from the other side. Maybe that'll help our help build our luck. Maybe they all are just congested there. And the green code card hopefully gives a little bit of hint towards that. So we got a fire energy, rescue carrier, scrafty, ursaring, Zora, Hoppet, Hitmonchan, Tentacool. Fletchling, we have a Dieno, followed by a Galarian Zapdos, Hollow Rare, nice one right there. Tell me what you think about the new versions, the Galarian versions of the Bird Trio. Very interesting, most people probably were not expecting that when Pokemon decided to make that decision, but... I'm actually kind of a big fan. The new Moltres and Articunos are probably going to be my favorite. Just awesome looking birds. Zapdos wasn't necessarily my favorite from the start, but now it's just <laughs> discount Dudoro or a better Dudoro. I mean, if you're really a big fan of it. But I think the Galarian versions were definitely a cool addition to the Pokemon universe. And we got a Drampa right there. And so. It was really cool, especially in those games, getting to see them all again with their new versions, new typing. Just a whole... Just keep adding to how deep the Pokemon company goes into developing their stuff. we got a Metal Energy here, Tentacruel, Baldor, Aroma Lady, Phoebus, Hoppet, Hitmonchan, Fletchling, Tentacool, we have a Crygonal, Croganal, Followed by a Smeargle. And so, again, nothing too crazy really to, for this, again, towards the first half of this box. Looks like we still got plenty more packs to go. See if we can get some better luck going here into the second half. But we got a Water Energy, Fletch Ender, Chopping Center, Lantern, a Lota, a Molga, Wubat, Gossip Floor. Phoebus, have an Eevee reverse, a nice little Eevee, followed by a Garbodor V. Go, that's gonna be our third V card of the day. Trash Man himself, right there. And more packs to go. We got a Darkness Energy, Flaffy, Braviary, Switching Cups, Fletchling, Pinchow, Petalil, Teddy Ursa, Piano, Switching Cups, and a Trophius Rare, non hollow. Put that in the wrong stack. Umbreon on the front. Thank behind the Dragon types. I gotta say, those Umbreon V Max and Umbreon V alternate arts are crazy. Would not complain one bit to get to see those, that's for sure. But we got a Skip Loom, Slack Off, Petalil, Pikachu, Punkaboo, Rufflet, have a Chinchow, followed by our first V Max being Trevenant V Max. Nice one right there. The grass and ghost type Pokemon right there. A haunted wood himself. Nice one right there. Get the lighting. A nice VMAX right there. Let's see what else we can add to. I don't believe we're gonna be done there. No, you gotta have confidence that there's gonna be plenty more to see in this box. Take a lightning energy. Bigger off. Treasure Energy, Ribbon Badge, Carvana, Amolga, Slack Off, Gossip Floor, you got a Love Disc, followed by a Nicket, and 
a Zygarde. Rapid Strike Hollow right there. Love that there are just so many Dragon types in this set. I was missing it so long, they even added the little scratch marks up there by the energy symbol. Awesome aesthetic choice. Try and lean those back. Oops, not doing a great job of it. There we go. Those packs back on display. Or start off with a grass energy. Single Strike Skull the Fang Dragon, the other really long one, Ursa Ring, Swoobat, Seedot, Woobat, Eevee, Temple, a Cutify, a Lotad Reverse, and oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, no way! <laughs> Speaking of Umbreon, that was the pack art. You ask and you shall receive. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. We got the Umbreon VMAX Ultimate Art. Oh my goodness, this is probably, oh man, this is going to be probably one of the biggest modern pools I've had in Pokemon. Oh my goodness, would you look at that. Such a cool photo. Such great art. Oh my goodness, look at that. Looks so clean on the back. A little left right centering but my goodness look at that that's a heck of a pull oh my goodness this one is worth a lot right now i think last time i saw it's still over 200 it's going to be the most sought after this is going to be an awesome one to add to the pc so i am oh my goodness that made this box oh this is such a fun set i can't wait to even open more of this what a great right there with the Umbreon VMAX Ultimate Art. You know what? You earned yourself a stand. Put this guy in a class all his own back there. Whoa. <laughs> Probably got just a little bit less than half now. I think we keep going. Let's see. Let's see if that Umbreon VMAX Altart is going to be our only big pull. I don't know. I think we might have some more still left in the tank. This has been a set, like I said, that people have had insane boxes. I've seen one where somebody pulled three alternate arts in a single box. I mean, not saying that I'm going to have that kind of luck, but you never know. Cross our fingers. And right there we got Galarian Zapdos, followed by a Slacking Hollow. Two hits in that pack oh my goodness that's gonna make me happy for the next week just getting to look at that umbreon v max altar oh <laughs> such a fun one oh my goodness this set this set's gonna be something else and we're gonna have it for a while and then celebrations followed by more i mean pokemon you're killing it right now that's all i gotta say they have been killing it recently. So, you know, and everyone's, you know, there was times where it got really thin in finding stock. It's everywhere now. We have another reverse rare. Followed by, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. We have a second alternate heart, the Dragonite V alternate heart. Oh my goodness. What box is this right now? No way. <laughs> Not only did we get the Umbreon VMAX Altart, but we have the Dragonite V Altart to go beside it. Probably two of the most favorited ones from this, minus the Rayquazas. <laughs> what a box, boys and girls. If you're with, <laughs> if you're watching this video right now, please hit a like. He please hit that like button right now. I mean, oh my goodness, that is, get this out there. These boxes are crazy. If you get your chance, get some hands on them, because look at that. That just does not happen every day. Pokemon, you outdid yourself. Umbreon, you're going to have to make some room, because <laughs> there is a second, second guy in town. Oh, being a little clumsy with it. Dragonite V, you also earned yourself a stand. We even get to put a nice little sleeve on the Seismitoad. Oh, I'm not shaking, but 
I might be sweating a little. That was, those are two awesome, awesome pulls. Just gotta look at it for a second. Man, more packs. Let's, let's keep going. These hands are hot right now. I don't think I can stop. Heck, I might even want to open up. I have some more sitting around. I don't even know if I want to. I mean, I think I just got to keep going at this point. I mean, come on now. Like, that just does not happen every day. But we got a Rog and Rolla, Psyduck, Swablu, Elemental Badge, followed by a Trophius Rare. Try and cruise through the last bit of these packs so this video doesn't take an hour. Fire Energy, Rubber Gloves, Loret, Boost Shake, Grogonal, Petalil, Bergmite, Drowsy, Scraggy, Skull the Fang Dragon. We have a nice Milotic. Oh, that was our reverse. My bad. A nice Milotic. Non Hollow Rare. Organize those real quick. Sylveon, come join the fun. Four. Oh man, this is gonna be a great day, I can tell you that. We got a Shellgon, Carvana, Gossifloor, Fletchling, Scraggy, Temple, Rog and Rolla, followed by a Lilligant, non hollow rare. I'm opening this the same day that I'm gonna be putting this video out. I can't wait for y'all to get to see it. That such a such a fun opening already. Hopefully y'all think the same. Hopefully y'all have made it this far into it with me. Hopefully you're staying pretty excited having those two as close as they were. Let's see if we can get any more. We got Shopping Center Reverse, followed by Gigalith, non hollow rare. Down there about our last seven, eight packs. Gotta say, it's gonna be coming to a close here soon. Four right there. Got a Psychic Energy, Zwilus, Skiploom, Raihan, Webble, Evopotus, Zora, Psyduck, Rufflet, have a Wobbuffet, Wobbuffet, Reverse Rare, followed by a Beevil, non hollow Rare. Nice little Wobbuffet right there. Let's get let's get another let's get another ultra full art. Doesn't even have to be an alternate alternate art. Just get a nice little full art requisite to add to this. I think that would just be the icing on the cake for this opening at this point. But then again, everything is probably just extra. I mean, it's hard to go wrong with those two fools. We have a Dieno, Honkaboo, Carvana, followed by a Shiftry Rare. There we go. Guard right there. We have a Metal Energy, Xenia's Revolve, Capaldon, Tentacruel, Rufflet, Rog and Rolla, Wobbuffet, Hoppet, Swablu. We have a Raichu Reverse Rare with a Re Reggie Drago with a new Reggie's added. Nice hollow right there. Another solid two pulls in one pack. Like that Raichu art. Hopefully, we can get the hollow version of it here in a little bit. A nice Reggie Drago. Obviously, they also added two new Reggies to this with the DLC. Let me know which one of those two you might think is your favorite, or do you wish they could have gone about it maybe in a different way? Maybe get some different typings added in, but I think the Electric and the Dragon were definitely some good additions, but we have Metal Energy, Rombi, Avalug, Ribbon Energy, or sorry, Ribbon Badge, yeah, Amolga, Wubat, I'm losing it, Gossip Floor, Beavis, the Paldus. We have a Flapple Reverse Rare, followed by a Ludicolo Hollow. Just keep the double pulls coming all the time. Awesome Flapple out artwork right there. You can see just the awesome landscape there in the back and the happy Ludicolo to go along with it. I have to grab some more sleeves. Oh my goodness. 
packs, they just don't stop. My famous words is Smash Mouth, and they just keep coming. And they don't stop coming. More pulls. All the pulls. We got a Fire Energy. Swilus. Xenia's Resolve. Copycat. Lillipup. Nicket. We have a Bergmite. For Bebe. Rog and Rolla. Single scroll of the fan of the Fang Dragon. And a Flapple. A rare rare non-hollow. Next pat. card. Down to about, I think, three packs left. Not including this one, but we got a Hippowdon, Lotad, Tediursa, Coriogonal, Nicket, Duplable, we have a Ursaring, I mean Uncommon, and a Lycanroc V. <laughs> nice, another V card to add to the group. Oh man, I'd say we've been on the two the two kind of spectrums. Oh, looks like we got four packs left. In terms of a lot of regular Vs. But <laughs> you gotta say that those alternate arts there in the back definitely make up for the discrepancy there. But we got a Water Energy, Golduck, Rubber Gloves, Copycat, Tentacle, Piano, Mareep, a Wobbuffet, Love Disc, a slacking reverse rare and a Gyarados V. Two pulls, more V cards to the pile. Please keep them coming. Nice. Ursaring. Or sorry, why did I even say Ursaring? Slacking. My goodness. I'm just all over the place after this opening. Gyarados V right there. Three packs left. Let's see what the rest of this box gives us. Four. Let's see just how many cards you get in these. And just look at that stack of uncommons and commons. We got the Water Energy, Digging Gloves, Palpitoad, Crustle, Pikachu, C Dot, Lilypup, Bagon, Litleo, got a Psyduck Reverse, and a Sharpedo non hollow rare. Sylveon. Join the party. Four. Grass Energy, Avalog, Vigoroth, Dream Ball, Alitleo, Teyursa, Crogonal, Nicket, Dwebble, we got Applin, and a Entei Single Strike Hollow. Another hollow to add to the pile. See, it feels like we've seen Entei a lot here this past few sets. Don't go wrong with that. And, whoa, after I drop those, see, the booster box is empty. Umbreon, let's see if you can bring us home one more good pull. Green code card, that's fine. Pokemon, er Pokemon seems to make some errors sometimes. Who knows, maybe they might still bless us with something, but we got a Darkness Energy, Cordy, Swilus, Nuzleaf, Sableye, Teddy Hersa, Marit, Zora, Hoppet, Palpitoad Reverse, and an Appleton non holo Rare. That is going to end that opening. 36 packs, come and go. Oh, can I almost just scoot those to the side, you can see what we got there in the backdrop. Wow, what a box. <laughs> That's all I can say is what a box is looking at those cards right now. Quick recap. Plenty of Rees and Hollows. We got the Entei Hollow, Gyarados V, the Reverse Rares like Slacking, Lycanroc, Ludicolo Hollow. Nice Flapple Reverse Rare. I like that one a lot. Veggie Drago, Raichu Reverse, Rubble Fett, Seismitoad, Slacking. So now we have both his Hollow and Reverse Rare. We have the Galarian Zapdos, Zygarde. Trevenant VMAX, nice one right there. Garbodor, Galarian, Zapdos, Arctivish, Dialga, Stoutland, Golurk, Wishiwashi, Pinsir, and Evil. And then none other, none other than the two big boys there in the back. Probably two, probably two of the, some of the 
top five alternate cards. I haven't looked at prices here since they've been all over the place with the set just releasing, but I definitely know that Umbreon's up there. And I can tell you right now that this Dragonite is also up there. Man, just look at those two pulls. Oh, well. I mean, ooh! Gonna sleep good tonight knowing that those two are now in my collection. Well, everybody, I want to thank you all for watching, for staying this long. It's a long video, a lot of packs. Hopefully it was entertaining. A lot of packs to go through. Some sick pulls that we got from this one. You know, please leave a like for this video. You know, show your support. Comment, subscribe. The more you subscribe, the more this makes me want to keep doing this. The more I just want to, you know, video all the journey that's here. Uh, whether it's growing the collection, getting some sick pulls from y'all. Um, and here pretty soon, probably in one of my next videos, I'll be looking to actually toss out a giveaway. And for those of you that have been subscribed, that are following this channel, as slowly we grow, I do want to always try and give it back. And so, here pretty soon in, this in one of my next videos, look for a giveaway link once I decide on kind of what I want to do. And, you know, the different ways to enter onto that. And again, if you want to see it happen sooner, the easiest way to do that is subscribe, get your friends, share it, get more people, tell, you know, spread the news that I got this channel going. And, you know, appreciate any support and any feedback that I can get from this. And so, without further ado, I think that's going to end this video. It's been super fun. Excited to get to do this for y'all. Excited that there's going to be plenty more where this came from. And it's, it's a good day. That's all I got to say. And so that's going to finish everything off, guys. I want to thank you all for watching and follow the journey. We will see you guys next time.